we told you that we'll be talking with the uh, GM of the Jets, and gosh darn it, we didn't lie. Here he is, Joe Douglas, on the show. Joe, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Um, getting Rodgers finally, did you always know it was going to happen, or does this feel like a big piece off your plate? I, I feel like we were optimistic that we were going to get this done, but... You know, you never you never count the chickens until the eggs hatch. So, um, you know, we needed to get this across the finish line at some point, and uh, we're thankfully um, we were able to to get, uh, get agreed all the terms yesterday afternoon. All right, so Joe, when you when you went out to uh, California to talk to Rogers, did you have what would serve as the parameters of this deal in place with Green Bay? You know, I talked a little bit about this uh, to the beat out, out in uh, Arizona. Yeah, you know, I feel like every deal is a little bit different. And this particular deal, um, we were granted permission um, without the parameters in place. Mm-hmm. Um, we were granted permission to talk to talk to Aaron. So, um, really, we were we we're going out just to just to meet Aaron, spend some time with Aaron, just just to see if there was going to be. Um, you know, interest in his part in joining joining our, our our organization. So, the biggest topic of conversation, Joe, has been the second round pick that becomes a first round pick in 2024 if he plays 65 percent of the snaps. How did you come to that percentage? Well, obviously, we're we're uh, there's a lot of conversations that happen before before we finalize everything. I mean. Um, there was a lot of back and forth on quite a few pieces of that of that particular agreement, and um, that was probably the one of the last things um, that was that was ironed out. Um, so, um, you know, again, we're we're comfortable with where things ended up, um, and the goal from the beginning was you know, to get the get the player in the building, and so. And we're excited to do that soon. Joe, was the final piece, was that the toughest piece to get this deal done? Uh, I think the last the last couple conversations, just just a couple, you know, back and forth and you know, what are the um what are the major what are, what are the I felt like the major components of the deal were in place. Uh just um, a few uh you know percentages, little things. Um were the last bits that needed to be tied up, and you know, feel like. Um, but again, you know, Brian. Brian's a, a a pro. He's a he's awesome. You know, been doing this a long time, and I have a ton of respect for him. And uh, um, just uh, we were able to finalize everything and get to a good place last night. So just just uh, happy we were able to work together and, and get it done. What do you think, Aaron Rodgers, the guy so far? Do you feel like you've gotten to know him? Anything surprise you about his personality that maybe you didn't know prior? I mean, Aaron is a uh, unbelievable, unbelievable player. Uh, first off, I think everybody knows that. Um, just, just getting to know him in that uh, in that window that we were able to talk to him and the conversations that we were able to have. Uh, I won't get any anything specific, but. Um, just how genuine of a person he is, um, how how competitive he is, um, how much that he still you know, craves winning in this in this league, and so um, it, it was just it was awesome to get to know him and just uh, just to spend a little bit of time, you know, talking talking ball with him. What would you say, Joe, to those that think you probably gave up? A little bit more than we all thought. I'm, I'm one of them, especially the the second round pick vesting to a first round pick. If, if Aaron stays one year, that seems like a lot. What do you say to us? Yeah, I'd say that we're we're comfortable with where we were, uh, how this deal landed. Um, I mean, ultimately, you know, we know that uh, you know, we, we we made this move to add a Hall of Fame caliber player and to uh, take take a take a step as a as a team as an organization with the uh with the young players that we have and so you know, I'll let let everybody else debate you know who's mm. who's winning who's losing who who did what but uh ultimately you know, we're able to to get this done and and get a player that we think can really 
really help us. All right, so Joe, I say this with respect and no derision at all, but what was their leverage? They didn't want him. He wanted to play for the Jets. There wasn't another team involved. So what were you negotiating against with them? Well, obviously they, they have a value for the player, and um, they, uh, again, great talks. You know, uh, I think both sides were were uh, pretty aggressive in, in certain things and what they wanted. And, um, you know, uh, again, I just say that ultimately we wanted to get, we wanted to make sure we, we acquired the player um, and that, and once once we knew that, uh, you know, he wanted to be here, which is, again, I've said it before, but, you know, it's a, it's a real credit to what, what Robert and his staff are doing. Um, uh, that, that was that was the goal. It's uh Let's uh, let's get this player in the building. Was there any conversations, Joe, on him playing beyond this season? You know, again, I think um, we, there's a ton of ton of great conversation. Uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics. I think um, you know, and I'm not going to speak for. I'm certainly not going to speak for Aaron. So, um, and we again, I just I just go back to you know, we're very comfortable with uh, where this deal landed for us. Now, Jet fans are not used to this, Joe, but, I mean, you guys are Super Bowl contenders. Do you feel that pressure now that you – because even before you got Aaron Rodgers, you had an unbelievable draft last year. You have a lot of talent on the team. Do you feel that this team can win the Super Bowl? Well, certainly you had a player of, of Aaron's magnitude. Um, but we, we understand. We understand the, uh, you're swimming in some deeper water. But again, uh, we're we're excited that he wanted to be here. One, I think it's a again, and it's a, it's a credit to the young guys that, that were added. Their their competitive makeup, how they went out and performed, how they handled themselves as uh, as professionals. And um, there's a there's a core group of, of players here that um, were attractive to a first ballot Hall of Fame quarterback. So um, you know, we still had a ton of work to do. And we need to get we need to get Aaron here. Um, there are some some people here that Aaron has really good familiarity with, and obviously, you've been in one place for 18 years. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a transition period uh, in a new environment. Um, we're really hopeful that the familiar faces are going to help ease that transition a little bit. But you know, we've got to get together and build the unity, um, build this team, and uh, you know our biggest. Once once we finalize this uh, this trade, you know our our next our next big thing is is infusing this team with the young talent through the draft, which uh, you know, we're excited about the opportunities that are going to pre- present themselves on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week. We're in the middle of the Joe Douglas Report on ninety eight seven ESPN, driven by Ramsey Mazda. Um, Joe, did you have any conversation with Aaron about just playing in this market, what it means in terms of the media? As, as big a star as he is, he has never been the front-facing player of a New York organization, and we all know that's a different piece. Did you guys discuss that at all? Yeah, I think we had a ton of great conversation. And, um, again, I just I would go back to, to one of the huge things that I kept that I kept. Um, hearing from him was just how innately competitive and driven uh, he he still is to uh, to, to come to, to a place like New York and win and um, and perform and so um, the fire is still very much there and um, I think um, I think everybody's gonna see that soon where do we stand right now with Quinn and Williams we're in a good place. Um, I feel like we've had really good conversations with Nicole. Um, been able to work with Nicole on, on a, many different deals, um, but uh, I feel like I feel like we're in a good place, um, and definitely optimistic that uh, we're going to get this done soon. Talking with Joe Douglas, the Jet GM. Uh, Joe, are you comfortable with Zach Wilson as your backup quarterback, or is there work to be done there? Absolutely, I think um, again, I touched on it earlier in the in, in the press conference today. But um, this is a great opportunity for Zach to to really you know, 
be next to a Hall of Fame quarterback and see how he does things from from A to Z. And um, I think this is going to be a great experience for him. And uh, you know, we there's still a lot of confidence in, in Zach in this building. So um, I know that uh, Nathaniel Todd um, extremely excited to uh, get back on the grass with uh, with Zach and and the rest of the QBs. So you've got the 15th pick on Thursday. I know that draft capital is sacrosanct to every GM. Was it tough to go from 13 to 15? And do you believe that move down two spots actually cost you something that you might have been looking at? And what are you looking at? Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see on Thursday night. Um, I feel like one of the reasons we were willing to to make that move uh, at the end of negotiations, we feel we feel there is going to be a similar caliber player at 15 as there would be at 13. Um, you know, again, uh, you go into every draft wherever you're picking, whether it's eight or 24, or 32, wherever. You, okay, we've got to find that number of players that we're really excited about. You know, we, we had 13 prior to the trade. We have 15 now that we'd be really excited about about taking. So if the board fell off with our first 15, okay, 15, we're ready to roll. Turn it in. Can't trade back. Let's roll. And so um, we're at that place, you know, whether it's 13, 14, 15. So um, we, f- we feel good about mm-hmm. where we are in our draft prep. So um, look, there's, there's a lot of options available. Um, and there's, a, there's a variety of uh, – uh, different talent in this draft at different positions. And so you know, I think at 15, you're just going to be disciplined and let the board come to you and see see what's there. Now, Joe, I know you're all business, but you just made one of the biggest trades in the history of this organization. Your team is going to be competing for a Super Bowl. Get fired up. I was going to say the same thing. We, we are fired up. Do you ever sit back and go, we up. just got Aaron yeah, Rodgers as a yeah, Jet? I'm pretty even-keeled guy, so I don't really, uh, I don't really get I, I, I think you'll see you guys, we can hope you know, finally hoist this uh, Lombardi. I think uh, that'll be that'll be a time where I can really kind of let, let loose. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of work to do before we can even think about things like that. But, um, yeah, we're Ed, trust me, everybody's excited. Everybody's excited. And uh, just – not every day that um, a Hall of Fame quarterback wants to wants to come lead your organization. So this this is a special time for sure. If somehow randomly a uh, a veteran at a good price at quarterback popped up on the market, would you guys be interested in taking a sniff to bring in someone like that back up? I mean, it, it, that's uh, I, I won't get into the hypotheticals. I feel like we're good. We're uh, we have a good core group of of, uh, of, of passers right now. Um, you know, I think we we take uh, we were going to take a look at any. If there's any opportunity to upgrade our team at any spot, um, any position. We're going to take a look at look at it. So, um, but you know, we're uh, there, there's going to be. We know that there's going to be more opportunities. Um, possibly after the draft in June. And so we feel like we have the resources. We still have the resources and flexibility to uh, be aggressive if we need to. All right, final thing. When you walked into Sala's office and said, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, we got Rodgers, what, what was his reaction? <laughs> so uh, we, were, we were in the middle of a draft strategy meeting um, when, when I, uh, I had to leave to uh, – hopefully finalized the deal and so I uh, came back in after uh, about a 20 30 minute conversation on uh, the last call and uh, he was fired up I uh, got a, got a big hug high five uh, it, there was there was a lot of joy well enjoy the draft I know it's a lot of work but uh, you, you got the biggest piece that you were looking for and we congratulate you and thank you for coming on man thanks guys good talking to you all right that's the Joe Douglas report